we're going up into this little cavern canyon it looks like it was formed by geological time and I don't know a billion years of water and wind we're gonna go see if there's anything interesting up there we're just gonna go get in it I was hungry, but I couldn't feel it. I was thirsty, and I had no idea. I was alone, and I didn't even realize it. I was thinking, man, if he falls, he's going all the way down. Head towards the blue shit. Yeah, so I think it wouldn't walk this road because it's the fastest way and whatever. And then oh, look at that gate, like uh, yeah. the middle one. The hot gate. Yeah, I hope not. Is that the one we're going to, the middle one? I was thinking we were going to that right one. Too. I did too, but now I see the gates. I don't, I don't I really care. Right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We could always, do you want to do this one? I think that one goes back further. Let's get closer, and yeah, I think you're right. I mean, that the one that we saw from above seems like the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we saw care. from like a different angle, and it looks like that was clearly the one. Michael and I left camp at dawn and found ourselves on top of the massive dune that dominated the landscape. Our fucking masters at living because they just sit there and feel for a couple thousand years, and we live for fucking fifty, and we're like. We're smart. <laughs> we're, we're so intelligent. Yeah. You know, we're, we can fucking make airplanes. <laughs> While we were up there, Michael spied a narrow canyon cut into a distant ridgeline that captured his attention. The tracks just get covered. <laughs> Fucking sand is just fucking slip sliding. Slip sliding away. This is so fucking good. We went for a hike, my friend. That's stupid. We went for a fucking morning hike. I would never, I, w I wouldn't probably. If I looked at it from this angle, I wouldn't go up there. I'm like, no, that looks fucking hard. But when we were just talking shit to each other and like, oh, we'll follow this line up and then we would follow that ridge and we're like, well, we're halfway there. You might as well go all the way. Oh yeah. Just because we were talking so much, we didn't pay attention yeah. to what we actually had done. Now scared. back here, it's like, what the fuck? And we're like, oh. I mean, if you're like, let's bike, hike up that mountain. That looks much worse than that. It actually does like, yeah. Comparatively, but that thing has barely gotten. I guess it's more closer, but it doesn't. It, doesn't, it still seems so far away. Really I'm really bad the mind is an observer. It doesn't do anything but observe what's going on. All the intelligence is in the body already. You just got to let the body work correctly. Or is it like that? The mind is really is like that ceaseless commentator that you know you just want to fucking turn off but when it doesn't know its job yeah that's what a backseat driver does but as yeah. soon as you go yo you're a fucking passenger just enjoy the ride yeah. i'm still seeing with my heart but through my brain and oh, right. stop. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get that brain out of the equation. Yep. Generally, right? Check out the view. Yeah. And then just observe how awesome that is. Now the mind is doing what it's meant to do, which is observing. And then the body does all the hard work. But the mind convinces everybody and itself that it's intelligent and it can solve problems. It really can't solve problems. Other than, you know, basic or logical math problems. Yeah. Um, which are, which are again, you know, just another example of observation. Because yeah. math is not invented, it's discovered. So the mind uncovers math in the world and then takes credit for making it. This is so fucking cool, man. I fucking love this shit. Do you think it's the... Do you think it's the fact that it doesn't happen very often? Or just the fact that it's like... Organic? Yeah, I mean, something's happening. Yeah. yeah something's happening. Yeah. Make sure Milo's okay. They stopped to take pictures with that oh, okay. couple. All right. Hey, there's our friend. This point became interesting when we were at that second. I think that is peak, so to, yeah. to measure it. It's probably equal with that peak. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, I'm a fucking goddamn portrait photographer these days. I thought you were gonna say a fucking mountaineer. Or don't. Yeah, help us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, if that were true, yeah. I would counsel dissent. <laughs> Not dissent, yeah, yeah, descent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mark, we heard you're against stuff. No, yeah. no, let's get down. <laughs> no, no, no. I need to get down. <laughs> Take a nap. I'm ready for my midday nap. Do you nap a lot? Yeah, I do. When I'm home, I take a nap in the afternoon. I eat lunch, and then I take a nap. Uh, I love it. A lot, it's a luxury, you know. Manifesting generator. That's my guess. That is so fucking crazy how far away that is. It's a long way to land. It's super fucking far away. I'm guessing we're six miles away from camp. We covered a lot of ground today. Because if we're, mm -hmm. so, you said we did two miles up. It was two and a half. It was like two and a half miles round trip. I think the whole thing. So yeah. if you extend that loop, I, I think we're at least six miles away. It seems longer. <laughs> As I said halfway through, I, I did not account for the vertical. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> is, is the droppings fresh? I don't know, it's moving. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are aware that we just recorded this. This is exactly what they show in the trailer of the horror movie. Exactly. Man, there's tarantulas. There's like dead tarantulas, fresh droppings. There's a fucking den right here. Or there. What are they? I don't know, that's fucking dug out. Oh, yeah. What do you think is bobcats? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, there's little turds and then larger ones, so. There's some kind of food chain action happening. <laughs> It's a waterfall for a day every year for about, you know, 100,000 years. A day for a billion years. <laughs> a day a year for a billion years. There's been a billion waterfalls. There it is. Guys, can I come into the clubhouse? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you can. 
can, it doesn't smell great. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of getting it on. I don't think we're being slow at all. Oh, no, right now, not at all. I feel like we're getting it on. So probably two and a half, yeah, two and a half miles an hour. But that's fine. So. I was catching up with Twyde and telling him about how through the last year, as difficult as it had been, I felt as though the universe had smiled on me and shown me a path through the darkness. And suddenly, as if to punctuate the moment, the universe smiled on us. Shutter still works. It's oh. fucking amazing. You can be so far away for so long. And then one day you're just not. And it feels like you never were. At all. Time and space are funny that way. <laughs> 